Web 2.0 is the present form of the web that we are all familiar with, whereas Web 3.0 is the future phase of the web, which will be decentralized, open and more useful. Curious to know more about how different they are? Stay tuned! Hello everyone and welcome back to the Metaverse Economy channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss everything about how Web 3.0 differs from Web 2.0. Keep watching! Don't forget to subscribe if you want to catch more videos like this. Let's start with the main topic of this video. Web 2.0 Instead of static information, the web has evolved into a platform for dynamic content, allowing users to interact with web-based content. This user engagement was made possible by the development of technologies such as JavaScript, HTML, and CSS which permits developers to create apps that lets users interact with reports in real-time. Web 2.0 is all about engagement, whether it's through social networking, blogging, podcasting, or social bookmarking. We communicate with others through text and notes and we can quickly attach and exchange items such as photographs and music. Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and of course Google were some of the most popular Web 2.0 apps. This is why the social web is a term used to describe the current web era. Web 2.0 refers to websites that emphasize viewer content, simplicity, and compatibility for end-users all over the world. The active social web is another name for Web 2.0. It does not change with change in technical definition, but rather due to a change in the way websites are built and used. Web 2.0 allows users to interact and collaborate with one another in a social sites dialogue as creators of user-generated data in a virtual brand community. Web 2.0 development employs web browser technologies such as Ajax and jQuery. Ajax and JavaScript code has recently become highly popular for developing Web 2.0 sites. Web 2.0 has five important characteristics. Users can retrieve and categorize information collectively with the help of resorting. It has content that is dynamic and responsive towards user input. Through review and online discussion, information is shared between right holders and site users. APIs were created to enable self-use, namely by a software system. From the traditional number of users to a broader range of people, web access causes concern. People express their ideas, opinions, thoughts and experiences on the social web which includes a variety of internet tools and platforms. Web 2.0 applications are more likely to engage with the end user. Let's now move on to Web 3.0. The semantic web is Web 3.0, which means that instead of searching for content keywords or numbers, we may utilize AI to decipher the semantics or meaning of web content. This would allow algorithms to comprehend and analyze data the same way that humans do, instead of like how machines do. The semantic web's fundamental goal is to make it easier for users to find, distribute, and integrate information. It pertains to the progression of web usage and interaction, including the conversion of the internet into a database. It enables the web's back end to be upgraded after a long period of focusing on its front. Web 3.0 is a word that is used to define several paths of browsing habits and interaction. In this case, data is shared rather than owned, and different services display different perspectives of the same site data. The semantic Web 3.0 claims to establish the world's information in a more rational manner than Google's current engine schema can ever do. This is especially relevant from the standpoint of machine conceptualization versus human comprehension. The semantic web requires the use of such a declarative, ontological system like OWL to create domain-specific semantics that machines may use to reason about knowledge and come to novel conclusions, rather than merely matching keywords. Below are five main features that can help us define Web 3.0. 1. Semantic Web The semantic web is the next step in the web's evolution. The semantic web enhances web technologies that are in demand for creating, sharing, and connecting material through exploration and investigation determined by the ability of understanding the meaning of words rather than keywords or numbers. 2. Artificial Intelligence by combining this power with language processing, computers in Web 3.0 will be able to discern information in the same way that humans do, resulting in faster and more support for the core. To meet the needs of users, they become increasingly intelligent. 3. 3D Graphics In Web 3.0, three-dimensional design is frequently used in websites and services. 3D graphics are used in museum tours, computer games and e-commerce, geographical contexts, and other applications. 4. Connectivity 
Information is better connected with Web 3.0 thanks to its semantic metadata. As a result, the recommendation to consult progresses to a new penetration of the Internet that takes advantage of all accessible data. 5. Ubiquity Multiple applications can assess content even though every computer is connected to the Internet. The service is used anywhere. How Web 3.0 differs from Web 2.0 the detailed impressions of Web 2.0 and Web 3.0, as well as their features, clearly demonstrates the contrasts. Web 2.0, for example, focuses on read and write operations, whereas Web 3.0 places a greater emphasis mostly on the semantic web. Here are a few comparisons between Web 2.0 and 3.0. Definition the definitions of Web 2.0 and Web 3.0 are one of the most important aspects to be considered. The participatory social web, or Web 2.0, is a third gen of online services that allow users to read and publish. Web 3.0, on the other hand, is the web's third generation, which focuses on improving respect and coordination between humans and machines. Focus the goal of 2.0 was to allow people to engage with material on the Internet. Web 3.0, on the other hand, encourages users to become active contributors to the Internet's content. Web 3.0 aspires to link knowledge, as opposed to Web 2.0's goal of connecting people. The focus of Web 2.0 on a larger scale was mostly on indexing and end-user experiences. By facilitating enhanced trust, security, and privacy, Web 3.0 shifted its focus to user empowerment. As a result, you can see the focus area is a significant factor in Web 2.0 versus Web 3.0 comparisons. You have Web 2.0, which focuses on community growth, and Web 3.0, which aims to empower individuals. Technology Web 2.0 has been instrumental in the creation of numerous new technologies. Ajax and JavaScript are two important technologies that have fueled the expansion of Web 2.0. In addition, the supremacy of CSS3 and HTML5 as among accurate delivery Web 2.0 may be seen. On the other hand of the spectrum, you'll discover Web 3.0 which supports the adoption of cutting-edge technology. AI, semantic, web, and decentralized protocols are among the primary technologies that constitute with Web 3.0's basis. Frameworks and ontologies are two more prominent technologies that are driving the rise of Web 3.0. Types of Applications Web applications can be found in the context of Web 2.0. Web 2.0 applications comprise two-way HTML files, video files, podcasts, and personal blogs. To name a few, Web 3.0, on the other hand, enables the development of smart applications that can take advantage of machine learning and artificial intelligence capabilities. Multi-user immersive technologies, 3D platforms, are all characteristics of Web 3.0 applications. State of data in the context of Web 2.0, the data is owned by the network. Web 3.0, on the other hand, implies an entity's ownership of data as well as the ability to share data across the network. Features Web 2.0 improves interactivity while also introducing a diverse set of web apps. Furthermore, it is reliant on interactive advertising. Web 3.0, on the other hand, is built on behavioral marketing and includes intelligent web-based features and applications. In reality, Web 3.0 is an excellent example of how web technology and deep learning may be combined. Web 3.0 demonstrates a more promising architecture that is required for human-machine interaction. The most significant aspect of Web 3.0 is that it improves protection, trust, and privacy. Many people refer to Web 3.0 as the decentralized web because it will rely heavily on decentralized protocols. Web 2.0, on the other hand, is however still the foundation for many of the web apps we use today. Is it possible that Web 3.0 will transform the popular programs we use today? Will it bring in the era of virtual reality? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and if you find this video useful, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.